You know you've lived in the netherworld long enough where just you're not afraid of the fact that after certain hours just things become way way worse and to be fair that's also real life well yes especially for well especially for our situation that being right. said is this the part because the, this I, I keep saying that in terms of progression of difficulty this stage is really the worst out of the set um, there is one part where things absolutely go horrendously wrong and I don't know if it's a part that I recently recorded or it's this one. Mm, that was a good touch. Yes, I kind of had to... There's a lot of stuff where you have to realize, you know, maybe I should just run and just kill the enemies I need to know are problems. Uh, no, kill the enemies that I know are going to be problems. Mm-hmm. Even though we've seen that the score isn't entirely time-based, it's still majorly time-based. So that's just what you have to keep in mind. That, yeah, basically every score. That being said, since I'm playing this timeline on normal mode... Oh, right, it's, it's not this one. It's definitely the one I recorded recently. Um, but yeah, since I'm recording... The, this timeline on normal mode. I'm being way more, rec re more reckless and gung-ho. And honestly, I feel that when I am like that normally, sometimes it just works. I mean, I haven't gotten hit yet. Mm -hmm. That but, seemed very lucky. I mean, I, al that. I, mean, I always know that those carpets are there in certain... Um, and they're usually very reliable until evening time. Well, no. Evening as in twilight. Mm -hmm. Once once twilight appears, things get so much harder from that point on, you have no idea. These moth monsters are... a lot of them are replaced with the black moth monsters. And it's... they just absolutely won't leave you alone. I was I was trying to bum rush it there, see how far I could get, but I I had to stop at one point concerning the enemy placement. Yeah. Um But yes, not only will they just not leave you alone, but the fact is that unlike the normal moths, they have that sonic attack. Um and just like that absolutely shreds through the machine's defenses. So like if you're if practically if you're hit by the sonic t attack at all, you might as well give up and try and respawn another machine. So that kind of that kind of garbage just amounts to the fact that if you try and skip it the normal skip it the other way like what I tried, you have to keep in mind that while you're skipping, the since the things home into you, um, well, home on to you, wait, is it home in or on? I've forgotten. Home in on you. Oh, okay. Um, when they do that, they all, the sonic attack goes, it increases their range? So basically, you can predict exactly the distance that the that the black moss will come, but the sonic attack will just always be just enough to get you and send you careening down. It is mm. horrible. I'd have to say that that stage performance back there, um, in the in, in what's coming up in the twilight section of this stage is going to be something to behold. Granted, afterwards, when I decided to go and get an S rank on the stage on my own time, I did it after two tries, so... Okay. I, um... I'm assuming she's not eating, and that's the training? Yes. She's just... she's res and she's just resisting even thoughts of eating. Mm-hmm. 
Of course, for s because she very clearly is one of the characters who just does not listen and just has her own ideas, she thinks that we're here to train to become a ninja and so she's overseeing our training by fighting us. At least she's not scoffing at the idea of a ninja training. True. Um, that be that being said, um, if you look at her interaction, Soshikag is actually pretty tame and not well. She is brash, but like she's usually not an active threat in in terms of just like threatening you just for being here or something like that. Like the others sometimes are. Yeah. I mean, I guess that's if all he all if all he needed was one thing. In theory, he could have just taken that one thing and left about the fight. Yeah, there is a lot of stuff, uh, conflicts that happen due to the pretty not getting a chance to talk. In fact, the most infamous one takes place on the midnight um, section of the High Tome Forest. Where he just gets in the middle of a huge argument, and they don't—they're—they're they're just so into the scuffle they don't even notice he's there, but he's caught in the crossfire. Mm -hmm. But this is the Netherworld. You kind of have to anticipate that the person you're meeting is going to going to have one huge character flaw at least. That's true. Well. The thing also with that is that the, well, character personalities are, in this case, partially dictated by their class. As in, especially if they're a monster, their their disposition is usually heavily influenced. Uh, um, the class usually heavily influences disposition. There are some exceptions. Maybe the disposition determines what class they end up in. Well, no, considering how they're born, um, it doesn't work like that. But since reincarnation is a thing you can sort of structure and pay f pay for how it works um, in this world, you, um, the class the, the class that you decide to choose um, at that point sort of dictates your dictates your personality options it seems mm. i'm i'm going off of this fight this guy of five logic where after choosing a class you can choose their um personality types out of out of a set and sure that is for um ju just for well not, not what's the word i'm looking for it's cause video gaming rather than lore. Yeah, it feels a bit like that, but it se but it seems also consistent with how things seem to go. Hmm. It's just that they that there's usually not a lot of variation unless it's one of those uh, unless they're more humanoid characters. Did you try this guy six demo? Was that free? I don't know. That's what I'm asking. Uh, I mean, if the if I had to ask, then no. Yeah. But yes, I mean, I can't ask you what you thought. Of it. Not that I would understand your thoughts. But... The the problem also with that is that amongst all the things, even if I were to get this guy a six, um. It's something where that that tank made me made me think that something was across the ridge, um, but it turns out you're supposed to lift it up and bring it up here to deal with the wheel enemies easier. And I assume Japanese RPGs are a switch thing right now, since from what I gather, because I used to look at the. Um, what, the, what are the numbers called? The Genki? The... I don't remember. The Japan sales numbers. Okay. For for um, the consoles. And back during the Wii U era, 
the three D S was the best selling, but the Vita was getting out of the games, guys. Well, even PlayStation, even play um the normal PSP was known for JRPGs. Well, yeah, but it, it was handheld, but it was good enough to actually have games, and so all of them were going to the Vita. The Switch came out, and so now that's the thing. And I think maybe the Switch being portable and getting all of those games is probably what made the Switch just take over from the PS4, and the PS4 just hasn't been able to catch up to the Switch sales. I mean, that's just my... I haven't looked it up very long time, but the last time I looked was probably the first time in years and I saw that the Switch was doing the best, obviously. And the Xbox One was selling like 200. The problem... While everything else was selling like 20,000, 40,000. The problem was with, with, with how things are going now is that there's too much that I want. And so I have to dictate what I get based off of what I feel I'd be I'd be missing the le uh, missing the most if I didn't get it more recently, which usually also puts things into spoiler territory. For example, Crash Four is coming to Switch as everybody as everybody predicted, but it's coming in March. And it's just like, oh man, I really don't want to be spoiled. And I've been, <laughs> unfortunately, not to mention, Breath of the Wild 2 is either this year or next year. You need to play the first before you can, if you don't want to get spoiled on all the story elements leading to the second. Yep. So um, that's something to consider. But then there's also something where I'm, I'm just like, they announced today actually. That Kingdom Hearts is coming. The Kingdom Hearts collection is coming to PC for the first time, um, but it's but it turns out that it's an Epic Games e exclusive for right now. Isn't it like expensive, like two hundred US or something? Overall, I don't know. I, it, I mean, it's it's, it's a, I mean it, it I mean it's a lot of games. Um, so, but I don't know if you can get them individually. Um, in the, the individual collection sets, because I'd only really need um, two point eight, and the, and then after that. Do you know what's annoying? What? Speaking of the Epic Games Store, I got the Epic Games Store store or whatever, and I thought, okay, minute is on it, I'll sell this. I want to get those games for free, and I got them for free. And then a year later, I just bought the racial justice bundle from itch.io and I got Celeste and Minute. I was like, oh, so I got Epic Games Store for no reason. If, if, if there's a really good sale on Ukulele and the Impossible Lair, then getting EJ is not been a massive waste of time. Hmm. I've, I mean, I'm still, I'm still holding off because I I don't like stretching myself too far. Um, yeah, for, I don't like I don't like joining too many websites. I don't like it. Yeah, so I'll even though Kingdom Hearts is a really good thing, people do speculate that that just means that it's going to come to Steam eventually. Oh, well, so, most likely, yeah, it's most likely. I mean, the Fortnite. What's the name of the company? Epic Games sort of had to pay a lot of money, which they do have a lot of money, but to do something that something that big and make that be forever exclusive. That's most likely time. So yep. when it comes to Steam, you'll probably have more money. The only problem is when it comes to Steam, you'll probably be coming to Steam full price. So, like, if it came to Steam, no. And then in a year, it would be on sale. But it's just going to come to Steam a year from now out of full price. And then you have to wait an even longer time to get it on sale. So, like... It's not like I can play it now anyways. My computer sucks. That's true. 